It's Student Day at CASAR and I'm delighted to welcome uh, Sylvia Reitzema into the studio today to talk about her experience of working with students as Senior Lecturer at Kingston College of Art and Design. So I remember when I was at college, a lot of students were worried about uh, developing their own creative identity. Um, how have you worked with students to help them get a sense of their own creative language? So the key with this is really to experiment. So really play around with the process of experimenting with your media, your materials, in your sketchbooks, outside of your sketchbooks. You might even have pieces of work that you uh, put up on the wall so it becomes almost like a mood board. Um, but it's there, it's there for you to look at, it's there for you to see where you're going with a particular project. And the thing is also to really throw yourself into every project, because there might be projects at art school that you don't really like as much. Um, but within that project, if you really go in with the right mindset that you're going to embrace it, it you go on that journey and in that journey you'll find something that that you you will find interesting something that you can then take with you onto another project or onto your own identity and it's those students that really do push themselves forward yeah i completely agree and it's something that i even use now in my own practice that when i do a piece i ask myself you know what can i learn from exactly, this piece. There's yeah. always something to learn. Yeah. A piece is never finished and perfect, but there's always something to learn as exactly. an artist. And I think the difference, Greg, b between us now being artists, practicing artists, and from the days when we were students, um, is that we have the, the confidence now more to sit back, reflect and analyse. Mm. And we can do it automatically. We don't always have to annotate and analyse in our notebooks. But I still do that as a practice. But it's something that you learn and you put into your art school training as a student, that you really do develop those skills in analysing and being critical about your work. Yeah, totally, I agree. Tell me, what is your top tip for those students returning to college this year or starting a course for the first time? top tip really is that students come to classes really prepared so that forms itself in different ways that could be with the art box that they come prepared with art materials and I would really recommend in that box that they have a range of fine liners from thick drawing pens to thinner ones and that they've also got a range of pencils um, and brushes so not just brushes that uh, you'd use for watercolours, but also acrylic and inks, maybe a drawing pen like a nib pen too, a whole range of things. So they've got the toolkit basically to start their practice. So finally, Sylvia, um, you have been alongside hundreds of students on their journey towards graduation. Um, what are the key characteristics you've observed from those who've really made a success of their time at college? The students that really do uh, progress and get to the art schools they want to and top positions in, in their careers later on and so forth are students that have really embraced every part of the process. So that could be finding uh, voluntary work in an art gallery, it could be that they're doing summer schools um, plenty of universities run, run workshops and summer schools where you can develop your portfolio or try a course in illustration or graphic design or fine art. And then when you apply for UCAS and you're putting your application in for university or for a job, if you're the other side of that, you are going to be somebody that is going to be sought after because you're showing that extra bit. Yeah, I mean, often artists think that a CV is not important, mm. but it actually is. It's really Especially, important. you know, as someone like myself, who over the years I've employed assistants or help in my studio, it's something I look for is that proactivity and real engagement with the subject. Exactly, yeah. And that shows somebody that's willing to learn. And that's the difference. You know, nobody is a, 
as an artist or designer, no one's going to come knocking at your door to say, I hear you're quite good at drawing. <laughs> so it, you have to go out there and, and show yourself and show that you're keen to, to be that person that's learning the whole way, learning the journey. Thank you so much, Sylvia. Um, everyone, I hope that those top tips have really resonated with you and given you something to think about. Um, good luck to all the students who are starting this year. Uh, we're really thinking of you and wishing you a fabulous time.